five, four, three, two, one. Old so lonely is go. <laughs> <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today is all about getting the patina that I want on this um, truck look as natural as possible. So let's do it the natural way. lovely painted grill shell. Now looks like it's been on the highway for a while. And you couldn't tell me that doesn't look original. That's what happens to them. So the big question is how do I patina the inside of a truck bed that's nearly 90 years old? Well, actually over 90 years old apparently. Stand by. So what I'm doing, I'm giving a little bit of texture to the paint. Some of it's got more texture than other spots, but we just need to age it. So that's the first step. The next step involves fire too, but a little bit different. Not as flammable. Right, what you want to do now is get some used oil that's got heaps of carbon in it and the dirtiest and most ghastly oil I could think of that I've got is the stuff out of my little Daihatsu diesel. So let's um, rub it on. And now we light her up. Next job is steel wool. I'm using 4-0, which is good because it doesn't scratch. Um, it scratches very, very lightly and you can't see it. So I'm going to go over the whole thing while it's still oily. Give it a good 
rub and then we'll clean all the oil off. Residue, and then we'll uh, clean it after that. You can probably see all the dark spots. So what I'm going to do now, WD-40, thousand grip, start rubbing a bit of patina into it and getting rid of the dark spots. Process, but it's going to be worth it. So the next step is now a bit of wax and grease remover and um, give it a clean up and see what we've got there. I've got a couple of other touches I want to do to it as well. So we'll just clean this um, up real quick and um, I'll show you what we're going to do next. So around the truck there's little repairs like this. And um, what did Farmer Joe do when he worked on his truck? Come on, what did he do? He used a paintbrush. So I don't know how well that's coming up on camera, but you can see that's lighter than that, which is good, because we've done all that treatment to that, and the paint would have never matched. So it's good, and I've done it in quite a few spots. I'll zoom it out. Um, I'm gonna do a bit of rub through, but I'm not into the crazy stuff. So just where the main wear marks are, I'll show you what I've done to the front. So wherever there's a ding, I've nicked the paint just to make it look legit. If there's a little scratch, I've re-scratched it just to make it look how it's supposed to. I've done that to the doors, I've done it to the cow, I've done a little bit to the back, but what I want to do now is some of the high spots where you put your arm and some high wear areas. I'm just going to rub through to the red oxide, but I'm not going overboard at all. <laughs> So this is a passenger side, so it's not going to be as much. rub through if I don't like it. Driver's door will go a bit harder because it's getting used all the time and I'll knock it around a bit on the edges. Yeah. Let's paint this firewall. I can't see wrinkle yet, maybe it takes a bit of time. 
So I thought I'd do the right thing and read the instructions. So you need three really heavy coats. So it's had three really heavy coats. So uh, I guess we'll come back to this one. I just did the right thing again and look at the instructions again. And it says it takes two hours. So I'm not hanging around for that. So there you go. Have you got a dog in your street that just doesn't stop barking? Can you hear that? It's in every one of my videos. It just drives me nuts. But yeah, I'm liking how this grill turned out. It's perfect. Everything's good. I've got a patina the outside though a little bit. But doors came up excellent. I'm gonna put a sign on the doors. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing. I've got a bit of an idea. But they're good. The cabs come up excellent. Just that oil and the darkness of it now is unreal. So yeah, I'm not gonna go too crazy wiping the rest of it off because I'll probably never clean it anyway. Brush marks, I'll get out of the sun. Brush marks in all the right places. So there you go. That's um, lightly patinaed. It was a lot of work, but it looks more natural than some of the other things I see about. Um, they're just over the top, but anyway, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed it. Next video, I guess we'll be putting it on the chassis. Um, hang around for that one. That's going to happen real soon. I just need some mates around here to give me a lift, I think. But anyway, stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Yeah.